Who am I playing as? Connor? No, Marcus. Oh. I was just playing as Connor. Okay, so what's happening here? God, Marcus, you are just the most boring character out of all of us. Okay. So the only thing left to do here is pose as a... Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot. Okay, I've done most of the stuff here, but I haven't done all of it. So, seeing as how we're kind of going about going for a pacifist run, we are again not going to. Uh... If I'm not mistaken, uh, Marcus is the one on the box art, right? Yeah, his face is like plastered on most of the like promotional material. Oh, well, you know, you know, so the he's only... the one. That you, they you they wanna... did that because he's the one of color. That's the only reason they picked him. He's also the big name actor in the game. Oh, who the fuck Besides... is he? Besides, Clancy Brown on... is the big name actor. Excuse you. Yeah, I mean, other than him, because he's on. I don't know what other things are. I know he's in Grey's Anatomy. That's the main thing I know that he's in. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't know. Him. I don't like. I don't watch Grey's Anatomy, so I don't notice his voice. I don't either, but I I know he's in. And that's all I know. I'm friends with North, and I, I've been doing everything pretty good so far. I'm friends with Simon and North, and Josh is neutral on me. So I ain't gonna be putting my finger in his butt anytime soon. Also, I want to point out, like, as far as plot holes go, there's a scene in this game where you have to pretend to be somebody else on the phone, and you can face her and make and like and pretend to be her on be somebody else on the phone, right? Your mouth moves the entire time. That's where we need to go. Like I purpose, like on my last, like the last playthrough I did, I purposely turned away because I feel like, oh, that'd be stupid, <laughs> just to be looking at her while I'm doing it. And yeah, his mouth is moving the entire time. He's actively talking to her on the phone. So I was like, so you can, so there's a, a scenario in this situation. Instead of him going to one of the tables or couches, he just stands there. And talks to her. Like, how we? Like, that would have been a something you should have done in the cutscene. This is just games you get when people don't play video games. Like, who, who, who would think of that? Why would anybody do that? Is a stupid. Is, is said the person who didn't know any better. Matter of fact, I'll show you. I'm just gonna stand. Good morning, Miss Wilson. Sorry to bother you. This is Mike from the car park. There's a problem. He can stand there and just do it while she's looking at him. Somebody's backed into it. Like she's not looking at him, but it's it's. Fine, I'll be right down. I just can't. I can't imagine like somebody standing like five feet away from you while you're on the phone. Like you never like at least glance up at them or you don't see them in your peripheral what can I do for you? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Can you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes of course. But then again, so maybe. So would you like them to like give you an objective to uh like I need your help. Basically is there a way get, I can fail that by as I, like I can fail that because she saw me. I just feel like, you know, what he should have done is like a cutscene should have activated where he went and like sat down somewhere because they're in a lobby and there's like a lot of really posh seating he could have just went and sat and faced away from her and that was it like like because it would have just made more sense or you know had one of the other androids do it for him is that a tornado it is a tornado Am I supposed? Uh, no, man. I would. I'm gonna ask, like, why exactly would you have a TV on this wall behind the elevator? It's technically in front of the elevator, but the TV is perfectly blocked by the elevator, so nobody would see it. Why would you put that there? You're nitpicking. I'm not nitpicking. Oh, yeah, I'm mm, the Eddie Murphy thing, man. Yep. You gave us life. 
And now the time has come for you to give us free. They're coming. Let's go. No matter what happens, security shows up. That's just part of the game. I, I can't, Marcus. Go without me. Why, why, why is Jericho down on me? Because what did I do? Also, I don't know how true this is, uh, but apparently the reason Claire has a biker outfit thing uh, something is because, Japan. no, like they were originally like going to make the protagonist like a motorcycle enthusiast. I mean, like, she rides a the motorcycle, way. so why? So let's just we can still say she's an enthusiast. I can't yeah. my legs. Okay, don't worry, I'm gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. He won't be able to make the jump. How uh, often do you think you have to do something for your enthusiast of that thing? You have to do it at least three times a week. Okay. I mean, you gotta imagine her and her brother are obviously country. Yeah. She, she's clearly into motorcycles and life on the open road, and he's into shooting <laughs> guns and becoming a police officer. <laughs> I was gonna say punching rocks, but you know that that too. He was so you know. good at it. Y'all make for people make fun of him for punching that damn boulder, but nobody ever talked about how it fuck fucking worked. Boulder. It worked. It did. He it, it, did. it helped. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I can either kill him or leave him. Oh well, that ain't happening. They don't kill him. They find him. That ruins that the whole. Himself as a BLW, he doesn't need to worry about anything. <laughs> He has biceps the size of his head. And biceps are bigger than his head. I was gonna say. <laughs> not giving his biceps the credit they deserve. Sorry. <laughs> it's like I said, Chris, Chris Redfield ain't nothing but Ryu cosplaying as Chris Redfield. <laughs> so if I leave Simon alive, he will become my companion. Up until this point, he will end up becoming my companion. But North will look at me like, oh, you pussy. Like, this is like the, the issue I have with North. She just, she's just mad all the fucking time. Again, she's... and there's gonna come a point where you're on that, like, place where you jump off to get to Jericho, and you're doing whatever in that area, and she's gonna mind meld with you, and all of a sudden, she'll love you. She'll just love you. But that's the thing, like, but, wait, what? No, wait, no, 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 no. Okay, according to what I read, or the walkthrough told me, like, to even get that option. So, they're fucking still indifferent toward us. To get to that option, by this point, you have to have done everything to make her happy. No. I did not. <sighs> Again, the game might have been patched or something, but, like, in my version, that's what happened. I did not do anything to make that bitch happy. Because I'm not in the, the, the game of negotiating with terrorists. Why am I so lost? Because you haven't accepted the Lord into your heart. Mm, thank you, my shepherd. Mm. I'm, I'm here to just get, I'm here to get you get you where you need to be, Daddy. That's it. Like, something so there's also an option something. reach the roof edge what happens if I don't reach the roof edge I die no get shot instead of instead of running toward the edge just stand still and don't press any buttons north helps Marcus instead of running toward the edge stand still and don't press any buttons north will save Marcus automatically jump in so it doesn't matter what you do I could have done that but I didn't do that because that sounded stupid well, that ain't something I would have wanted to do. Oh, I am slowly becoming a, an, a, an Eevee. -it. That's an evolution of Eevee. That's when Eevee becomes a Deviate. Yeah, that's my favorite. Also, I haven't died again, which is frustratingly annoying. It's everything that gives me the opportunity to not die. So that means I'm going to do another playthrough where I piss off uh, Hank. There's no other option. Again, it's just going to be your, like, kill everybody playthrough. Which I have not done one of those yet. 
It's so fun. It's cathartic. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, it's the final no fuck you to this game before I delete it. I you know? you yeah. So Amanda's not gonna like me. If you have eliminated, if you have eliminated the Tracys at the Eden Club, Amanda will go up. If not, Amanda will go down. Uh, Amanda thinks you seem lost, unlocked by being friends with Hank. If you are sincere, if you are determined. Amanda doesn't matter. Piss off, Amanda. Amanda's a bitch. She's an old black woman. She's not even real! I mean, she was real. But isn't now. That much is true. My question is, so it's like, is he like in his like Roomba charging dock <laughs> when like these scenes come up? I don't know. If I'm being honest, I don't know. The game never really explains this. Because I thought, like, one of the scenes he was in the elevator with Hank, and maybe he was just uploading his consciousness and, like, reporting back in the span of, like, a few seconds. To learn something, but or something. They managed to escape. But it never really tells you. So I wanted to say troubled. You seem... <laughs> Hell no. Can't say. So I tell me, I trade this six pack for this six pack. <laughs> she threw me out. <laughs> <laughs> what? What the hell are you watching? King of the hell. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> was that? Was, was that? It's the episode. It's the episode. But, uh, I don't know. Bill does all that work, and that with Macho Man. Mm. What is? Who is your least favorite character on King of the Hill? If your investigation doesn't make progress, my least favorite character on King of the Hill is Nancy. Oh, okay. you suck. Wait, 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 Nancy, that's Dale's wife, right? Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, she's pretty her. shitty, to be fair. Oh, fuck, I hit the wrong button, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Nancy's trash. Oh, yeah, she's ass. Right, she's the best, like, she's, she's super ass. 